Kingston Penitentiary, Kingston, Ontario. First opened on June 1, 1835. Until recently, it was one of the oldest prisons worldwide that was continuously in use. Although praised by renowned author Charles Dickens in 1842, Kingston Pen has not been without its issues and has housed some of the worst criminals in Canadian history. From James Donnelly in the 1850s to Paul Bernardo, Wayne Bowden and Clifford Olson. It's immediately obvious to me that this prison has housed the worst of the worst. Today, I'm coming from the big house. I'm talking about Kingston Penn. Kingston Penitentiary, one of Canada's oldest and biggest prisons. I was able to visit this notorious prison and able to conduct a micro-investigation. I've been fortunate enough to come off the beaten path and get a little bit of information about the place. There's tons of places that you can go and explore. Unfortunately, I'm on a tight schedule for time. After finally being arrested in the early 90s, Paul Bernardo was found guilty of a devil's gambit of horrific crimes. Aggravated sexual assault, forcible confinement, rape, and first degree murder are all just some of this monster's brutal atrocities. Although Bernardo is unfortunately still alive, his dark energy is hard to ignore or deny. So this is another um, cell here, right behind me. This is where um, one of Canada's most famous killers came from. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard of Paul Bernardo. This is where he stayed. He used to stay in a cell where there was no glass doors in front, but he had to be moved because other prisoners kept walking by and throwing piss on him and into his cell. That's how much this guy is hated. Paul Bernardo will hopefully never be a free man again. And some would argue that a lifelong imprisonment beats a quick death. As of 2021, his parole was again denied. This place has held some of the worst Canada has to offer. According to public records, child murderer Clifford Olson was a prisoner in Quebec when he died of cancer on September 30th, 2011. But while imprisoned in Quebec during his final years, he often spoke of his time in Kingston Penitentiary. A time he stated on numerous occasions would forever be with him. There are some who believe that some of Olson's evil presence has remained within Kingston Pen. A theory for which I have had an opportunity to try and test out for myself. If you don't know about Clifford Olson, he's a self-proclaimed beast of BC. Most notably known for murdering, I think, 11 boys and girls. So this guy is a pretty sick fucker. Clifford Olson often referred to Kingston Penn as a rat hole and was constantly in trouble during his 10 year stay. When not breaking the rules, it's often stated he was a cheerful man with a noticeable bounce in his step. Clifford Olson always stood out from the other inmates because he seemed to actually enjoy being there. He's remembered as always making the best of his incarceration. Olson was also known for being very friendly with the staff and often asking about their families and lives in general. He seemed like a genuinely good guy. A man whose presence made you question whether or not Olson really was the monster everyone claimed. It's important to note, however, that until the very end, Olson never felt guilty about what he'd done. A true monster and got such an uneasy feeling it's just super dark compared to the rest of the cells 
in this jail. So I got with me my EMF meter used for measuring electromagnetic fields. As we know, spirits uh, contain a electromagnetic energy and I'm gonna keep this with me because it also lets me know if they're trying to communicate with me. An EMF meter works by measuring the surrounding electromagnetic fields associated with the presence of a supernatural force. Much like a radio antenna, many believe that paranormal entities can be roughly tracked using this technology. I also have with me uh, digital recorder. I'm gonna leave this going the whole time and we're gonna see if I pick anything up. Might it be possible as a paranormal researchers believe that the very essence of evil may imprint itself upon a specific location, a location that may have been occupied by such a person for a prolonged amount of time. Perhaps, even after death, a small amount of a person's soul can remain present within certain areas, even if that person didn't actually die on that particular site. James Donnelly of the Black Donnellys. Paul Bernardo. Clifford Olson, who coined himself the Beast of BC. All monsters who were housed within Ontario's Kingston pen. I'm Darren Drugan, a paranormal researcher who has been given the opportunity to conduct a mini investigation into what is thought to have been the cell of Clifford Olson. So I got with me my EMF meter used for measuring electromagnetic fields. As we know, spirits uh, contain a electromagnetic energy. Clifford Olson, am I in your old cell? Frequency sweeper spirit box that I'm going to use. I was using this the other day and it seemed like there were sudden sentences starting to come out of it. A spirit box is a device which sweeps through radio frequencies and creates white noise. I also have with me a necrophonic app which I will also use in an attempt to communicate. And I always change mine over to an AM frequency because I find there's less disturbance and noise pollutions in the frequency that sweeps. It's able to sweep across more frequencies without picking up uh, chatter and pollution from radio stations. Is there anybody in here with me? Anybody still tied here? I'm also going to use the Necrophonic app because I feel that we do get a lot of responses and readings from that. Use it through a Bluetooth speaker. Necrophonic. Now, this always creeps me out because you never know what's going to come through this thing. Here with me. You want to speak to me? You can speak to me. Am I speaking to somebody's aggregore? Russell Williams, Russell Williams also stayed here too. It's interesting because it's so dark back here. Where the rest of the cells are, you know, 
They do not look like this. Who's here with me? Lighting up now? I, I swear to God, it keeps saying Clifford. Is this Clifford? Clifford, if you're in here, can you light this up? Whatever's in my hand. Are you are you, are you the beast of BC? What year is it? Houston. Kingston. Yes. I'm going to stop the app. Unfortunately, there's more work going on and I'm getting too much noise pollution back there and it's just, it, it's, it's not going to work because you, you can't be sure of what you're hearing. So on that note, I'm going to review whatever footage has been here. I know this spiked a few times. Um, my head's starting to hurt, obviously, being in here. It's a small, very dark cell tucked in the back of the range in Kingston.